Okay, let's have a look at RegQ, which Pareto Logic are parading around through their affiliates as to scan, repair and optimize your PC. I think the facts would be to scan, screw up and ruin your PC might be more applicable. Let's start a scan and see what happens. Now, I recently did a clean installation, or clean reinstallation I should say, after a format and clean the registry out and there's been a lot of fuss about RegCure from Pareto Logic with people slamming it and they don't like it. You'll find reference to this in the article in my blog which you'll find a link to under more info. But we'll let this run and see what it finds and then I'll run a couple of other scanners and see what they find. Okay, the scan only took about 10 minutes, but we have 9 COM ActiveX entries, 1 uninstall entry, so they're neither here nor there. 493 file path references, 104 program shortcuts, and 358 empty registry keys. Now, out of interest, I'll use CCleaner, which is got a reasonable registry cleaner but again you need to be careful using these things because you can stop programs from working and oh this has found absolutely nothing so we'll come out of there and I will scan with the one care safety scanner so I'll let that run Compress the old files, registry cleaner scan, and computer information. Now it's found 0 0.7 megabytes of temporary files, which is nothing to worry about. The registry cleaner, it should be interesting to see what results come up here. And this only takes a few minutes to run. Again, it's very quick. Uh, six invalid items found. <laughs> Ah, it's somewhat different to what RegQ has found. Dear oh dear. Well there you go. All it's found is 0 0.7 megabytes of temporary files and 6 registry items. 1 COM ActiveX 1 file type association and 4 user software. If you compare this with 9 COM ActiveX, 493 file and path references, and 358 empty registry keys, there's quite a difference between it. If we look at the software, Online Armor, which I recently uninstalled, Online Armor, MRT stub and a Windows update. That's it. So we just clean those, it creates a restore point, and that's it done. It's finished, so. It's quite a big difference between that C cleaner, which found absolutely nothing, and what this has found. Now, if you click next, it'll give you a whole breakdown of the COM ActiveX entries that these apparently don't exist, and one uninstall entry, file and path references, they just go on. If you click fix errors, now the unregistered version removes errors only located in font entries and file associations. And in this instance, RegCure automatically removed zero errors from those areas. To completely clean your computer and remove the remaining 965 errors, it is highly recommended that you register and use the full version of RegCure. So let's have a look and see what we can 
and this will take you to the site. But let's go ahead and look at the details. Don't send any mail here, it won't get anywhere. But what am I doing? It's Monday. <laughs> so, let's see what bargains we come up with. Oh, now this offer ends today. When I looked yesterday, it ended yesterday. Now, you can purchase Reg Cure for $39.97 and they will give you. Driver Cure, which is worth $39.95 Privacy Controls, which is also worth $39.95 Data Recovery, which is worth $49.95 Zoft Spy SE, which is worth $29.95 A grand total of $199.77 But you can have all of that for $39.97 And pre-ticked is, yes, give me the best, I want the pro versions Normally $79.90, now only $9.97. And you can pay by credit card or PayPal. And thousands of new customers in the, within the last 24 hours. And believe that, you'll believe anything. You'll find that these links... are just images, they don't actually go anywhere. I'll allow the scripts on the page. Is VeriSign secured? From the 19th of November 2008 to the 19th of November 2009, the company is Pareto Logic Incorporated. And quite honestly, I wouldn't recommend this program to anybody. You know, you have settings. You can close the RegCure main window after repair, automatically repair items after scanning, create a system restore point. They're not checked. Check for updates automatically and prompt before downloading the updates. Ignore list. Nothing is showing. Schedule it. Now, it's scheduled to run at 0354 every Thursday and every Sunday of every week starting on the 1st of January 2006. That's three and a half years ago. I think I'll pass on this one, don't you? It really doesn't look very promising to me at all. I think I would rather stick with programs that do what they say they do and don't come up with scare tactics as this does. If you want more information, then you'll find a link under more info on the right. Or you can check out my blog, which is Free PC Security, and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk.